Welcome back. So before we touch the controller, I just want to show you uh, just a little bit about the routing and how you actually map a route into what controller to use and what action method to use inside the controller. And that was a lot of words already that I used there. So let me try and explain what I mean. So if we have a look at the site we're already on, and uh, I don't know what tutorial teacher uses to make their sites, but notice we have some kind of server name here in our route, a URL pattern here. So we have a server name slash, and then we have some kind of, uh, it could be a controller, we don't know what it is, but we have some kind of text here, and then we have another slash, and then we have some kind of uh, second set of text. Now, in the MVC application, we have to decide what that should all be used for. And that's what we're doing inside the, the config file that we touched earlier. Let me try and show you. So this route config file, let me show you. The route config under app start, this guy actually has something explaining how should I handle a URL pattern of um, slash something slash something. So let's look at the application in its running glory here. If I open my application, it says localhost, that's the name of the server. Then it says, this is the name of the controller. This is the name of an action. And this is then an ID. So that kind of, that route setup matches what we define in our route CS file. So here we configure how we want people to send in their routes to us. And in our case, we've used a naming convention, the default naming convention saying that normally we set in first the server name, that's right there. Then I want to know what controller should I actually hit. And what does that mean? That means that inside my controller folder, there should be a home controller. Notice here, there's one called home controller. This is a naming convention. Microsoft decided that they should look for something with the home and then they should just look for controller in the end. So control is added automatically. And if you don't put anything in here, it'll be home as default, right? So that's the home controller. The action, that's the next step. And an action is just a method name, meaning that inside the home controller, there should be an index action or method available. And again, if we look here, if nothing is specified, the default action will be index. And if I have a look inside my home controller, there should be an index action and it's right here. Okay. The third property inside our config file, if I go back to my config file, is an ID. Now this ID is optional. That's what it says right here. You can use an ID, but you don't have to. So what I did is, this is something I added, is I went into the home controller and I added this. There could be an ID coming in from the outside, but it's optional because it can also be null. That's what I'm doing right here. So let me just continue this just to show you what's actually going to happen. If I go into my page now, and I want to call that specific method that I just showed you here. I know I have to write server name slash name of the controller, which in this case is home slash name of the action, which in this case is index the action slash a potential ID if I want to. So I'll put a breakpoint in here inside the home controller inside the controllers folder. And I'm going to now paste this in the entire route. And then I'll hit this action right here because, well, that was what I just specified. Home slash index slash ID of 10, right? So notice that home slash index slash ID of 10. Home controller, index method, ID of 10. That's the naming convention. That's how simple it is. That's the route, right? So if we look at the drawing, I said I want to hit a request that says hit the MVC, hit slash home controller slash index slash and then it'll get the something from here and return that view back to the user. That's what routing is all about. I don't want to make the video longer than that because we will dive into controllers. So just notice that you can configure your routes here and on tutorials teacher, there's a lot more details if you really want to start specifying some complex routing. See you in the next lessons where we'll look deeper into the controller.